A busy day in Boston, for sure. The 125th Boston Marathon wrapping up and the city now prepping for the Red Sox to clinch tonight's playoff game. Welcome to Western Mass News at 6, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. Jordan's off tonight. We have team coverage in Boston this evening for you, so let's kick things off with Western Mass News reporter Bersade Alonda Verde, who joins us live at the Boston Marathon finish line after catching up with two women from our area completing the 26-plus mile course. Bersade. Yeah, Chris, we, I spoke to two women from our area, Western Mass, East Long Meadow and Wilbraham, who were so excited to be here. Now, they said that after a long year of virtual marathons, it was nice to be back in person and have so many people cheering them on. I beat my time that I wanted to beat, so I'm super thrilled. Jill Murphy from Wilbraham ran in her first Boston Marathon on Monday. We worked so hard, um, strength training and lots and lots of running and very clean nutrition, which I'm going to totally ruin in a few minutes. She tells Western Mass News, during the COVID-19 pandemic, she ran five virtual races. So on Marathon Monday, it felt good to be in person with actual onlookers. I've never run a marathon before where there were spectators the entire entire time and somebody putting a medal on me instead of me getting it in the mail. Her close friend also participating in the 26.2 mile race. Martha Barag of East Longmeadow has completed 17 Boston marathons, but this year was a bit difficult. I struggled from mile 15 on, like I walked a lot and I, I, that usually doesn't happen. So yeah, it was, it was a tough day for me. And this year with COVID-19 protocols, participants had to provide proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test. There were also rolling start times to allow for social distancing. In my opinion, it was better. It actually, I think they should do that all the time. It Now, both women said they are looking forward to be back here in Boston next year in the springtime for the 2022 Boston Mar Marathon. For now, reporting live in Boston, Priscilla Verde for Western Mass News.